And another change is the way for create, for example, the copy and the stamp. And there is, for example, some effects it's created uh, with uh, a particular tool, so it's called for each. Also, the for each it's changed in our uh, Houdini. We can find here more for each, and in the previous uh, Houdini, we can find uh, only one or two, I don't remember how, how many for each I have here, but usually it's here, you can find more for each. And this for each is changed. Uh, what is it this for each? For each you have this strange structure and with structure you can see you have this uh, uh, line, this group, this uh, highlights, you can call how do you want. And here's uh, the, the system where is take, for example, one geometry is uh, we can say is cooking is working on this geometry and he working on this geometry and apply all nodes there is here inside with the loop what's i mean for example i have one geometry and i want to delay to one point if i want to delay to one point i can take this uh, geometry i can connect here and can I say, hey, delete my point from here to here. And it's working only this uh, element. It's considerate all element, is a separate, it's uh, only one element and is working on it. And apply the loop, okay? This uh, tools, it's very used when you're working with, uh, for example, the fracture, because sometimes you need, for example, to take the fracture points and you can destroy the side more. This is uh, one example you can use the for each. But in this case, we can use the for each for create uh, the copy with some variation, okay? We can start with a very basic uh, geometry with the, the sphere. Today I'm working on only with the sphere. And with the sphere I change with polygons. Or, yeah, I change with polygons. And here, I can delete also this because we can take this in another time. And here I can create, for example, the another um, element is the cycle. And so I have the cycle and I have the sphere. Maybe I can uh, transform this uh, cycle with a very small dimension, okay? And also I can apply, for example, the group, the group range for create a range. And this range, I want also, I need to, to say there is the polygon. Okay. And okay, let's change here, for example, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Usually I don't made this from here, but here I want to work on it. Okay. And I want to say, okay, this is my polygons. Okay, with uh, this is my circle is the polygons with this vertex and I want to change, for example, I want to uh, take this point and uh, attract in the middle. And for do that, I need to create, for example, the range, the range of the group, it's uh, the points. And I want to replace from uh, one selection, the range is from one to two. In this way, I say, okay, take this one, not, uh, jump this, take this, jump this, take this, okay, and create a loop with the variation. You can also, if you press three, you see it's take one every three um, polygons, okay? This is very uh, nice tools you can use it here. Now, I want, uh, if I want, I can also uh, apply I want to apply and I want to uh, edit this point and with by, by using the group. So I can use, for example, the transform swap. And in the transform swap, you can apply here and you can use the group. You can find here the group name is uh, maybe we can say the name. I can say group point star. Okay and I can give the same name here. And here I choose my group, is the point star, OK? 
okay? And here, for example, if I change 0 0.5, you see, oh, it's more, but you see, you can keep or inside your, and this is just strange because uh, it's make something is not more correct. And now it's working. I don't know why, but with uh, 12 it's working better. And I don't know why. However, here now I can uh, copy my geometry. I want to copy my geometry here, my star on my uh, sphere. And for do that, we can see we can use the copy to points very fast. You have uh, here my geometry I wanted to copy and here my base mesh where is my copy okay we can see here it's copy and also in this case we are a few lucky because it's copy and uh, immediately it's copy with the direction correct direction of your geometry in all 3d package you have but the normal is it's uh, inverted okay now we can talk also this in all 3D package in the, the 3D world, we have the surface, it's created the one line, it's called the, the, the normal. What is it, the normal? The normal, it's the uh, direction and the result of your uh, points. What I mean. Every geometry and every point is maybe for create the geometry, you can need to have three points minimum. Okay, uh, every point in the space have the specific coordinates. Okay, X, Y, and Z. B, it's X, Y, and Z. And C also have the space Y and Z. Okay, in the 3D space we have this coordinate. So every time you can draw in that with the three dimensional or in the 3D space, every time you're working, for example, here, we have the 3D space. With here, we have the zero. Okay. And here we have the another, yeah, what? Okay. Uh, we have X, Y, and Z in this case. But in some cases we have the Z. Ah, when you're working, for example, from the school, usually you're working, working with Cartesian, and Cartesian, your Y, it's uh, this direction you can see from, uh, from the top. However, here we have the 3D space, and when I, for example, I want to draw in the E with the coordinate, it's, uh, for example, 1 for X, 2 for Y, and 3 for Z. So we can move it here, okay? I can move it here, okay, uh, 1. I can move it here, and I have this point here. I can, uh, is Z is 2, so it's 2, and Z is 3, it's a 1, two and three easier. So if I connected this line here and so I up here, here I have my points is E, it's drawing here in the space because the result of this line, this coordinate is create this point. But this point, it's the vector when is become the vector uh, it's in real time it's the vector there is the vector also here because it is respect to the zero have the line is uh, imagine line you have here it's uh, create the line is the vector but however if i have the b with another in the space i draw in the space without care where say the the, the coordinate have here the b and here, if I connect, I create the particular vector and this vector have this line, okay? If I connect, so I have this vector. 
if I connect, for example, the B with C, I have another vector. And if I connect, for example, the C with the E, I have another vector, okay? When you work with a vector, here you can create the surface. When you create the surface, for example, I have this situation here, and I have the surface. Every time you're working with the vector, you create the surface and uh, you can also additional vector between, uh, uh, what I mean, I have the result from the vector. For example, if I have this vector and this vector, I want to find the result of this line, I need to sum this vector with this vector. What I mean in the practical, I have here, I have the A vector, this is my A vector, and this is the big vector. If I want to sum up, I need to take this and move it here with the same line. In this case, it's the vertical, and so I have the vertical. I create a copy here, and here it's horizontal, another vector I can copy here. And this is the, uh, the vector, okay, you can create here. It's the result of this sum, okay? Essentially, if I want to create a vector E plus vector P, you have this, okay? This is very basic in uh, mathematical uh, analytic in uh, university. When you create this result, when you have three, for example, I have this is the result from E plus B, and this is the result with B plus C, and this is the result with uh, E plus E. The final result of this three, the line, it's the normal. And the normal, it's perpendicular, usually, with these three points, okay? Essentially, when you have, for example, the quad surface, quad polygons, you have here one point and one line, it's going up. The up or down, it's determinate if positive or negative normal. Okay, is it positive or negative? And uh, here, for example, my normals is like this, in this case. And I can see if I apply, for example, the normal here. Now I don't see because it's uh, in the same position of my uh, Z line, okay, Z, Z axis here. And when, uh, now the question, uh, maybe we can be, and I have uh, also the normal when I have uh, only, only one point. Yeah, if you have one point here, you have also the normal. The normal is the result of your axis, and uh, the result of this axis of this uh, the coordinate, it's maybe I draw like, uh, want to take more care of this, but is that, okay? This is the result you can have when you're working, for example, only one point. And this is more important when you work because normal, uh, it's, uh, you work with normals in every time, and normals, maybe sometimes you can help you for understand if uh, the geometry is correct by drawing correctly or not correctly. In some, uh, with, for example, with some engine of rendering and normals, uh, if uh, split uh, or if flip uh, or is, uh, for example, you can have the mesh and maybe this face and this face, it's, uh, it's uh, negative, is a positive from this direction and all rest of your element is positive with the, this direction, is a flip at the same. Uh, and uh, we, when it's flipped, maybe we can, uh, the light is uh, not uh, work correctly. And so maybe you can have uh, some problem. Maybe you don't see this face or you see black or have another kind of problem. So when you work with uh, the geometry, you need to keep more attention from this. In the previous uh, tutorial, when we work with the scale, I need to create the, the normal for Uni unique uh, all your elements and you can find a good uh, way for create the normals. 
Here I have so my normals and I need, for example, uh, to keep the good normal. Here in this case, my normal, if I go to C, I have this direction, okay? And also the point normal have this direction. If you see more small line, you can also go to the with this from the viewport and if you visualize with, with you have a scale of normal, you can change that, for example, to one or see better and you can see where is uh, uh, really your normal. However, this is the point normal and this is uh, the normal from the face. Okay, in the face, this is in the middle because the result of is that. And my geometry, when it is copy, is take this normal, and I see, for example, it's uh, with uh, inside the normal, it's, it's a flipped inside, it's not to go to outside. But uh, uh, you can also, if you want to change this. For change this, you have, for example, some soap like normal, or you can use the face set, face set soap here, and the normal here. You can see in the face that you can uh, pre-compute your normal, so you can see it's uh, become this, it's the same, okay? And you can also uh, reverse your normal with inside. You can see the sphere, if you reverse it, become black, so it's uh, negative. And so this for making sure. Also here we have a normal, so we can uh, also change the, the value here and it's very fast to use that because you can also to keep you in the normal maybe you don't see the effects uh, immediately but you can see if I apply here for example now it's working also I don't understand why but uh, it's work okay but it's uh, uh, come here and here for example I have also the flip now I have the flip here reverse normal yeah or post compute normal if you want okay this is very nice uh, tool so we can use uh, in more time however another way for create normals and for use with uh, multi-threading it's created by using uh, the uh, vex expression okay you can use also the VOP, but the VOP, uh, it's a few complicated. It's only one line in the VEX, and I prefer to show you in the VEX.